Hey guys, Jared back again, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Omega Rum Jelly Bean, which is based on AOKP. Uh, this is the 3.0 version. There's a new version that is available, 3.1, with a couple of slight additions, some applications that have been added, some other uh, under the hood uh, tweaks. Nothing really, really too terribly noticeable, but I didn't want to kind of start out with the boot animation, because as you can see, that was one cool, cool boot animation. Uh, but now that, that that's out of the way, um, a couple of things I wanted to mention with this ROM is that uh, we've got, like I mentioned, we we do have some other additional applications that have been added in version 3.1. Uh, in 3.0 though here, um, and I think 3.1 actually includes things like Flipboard, just a couple of applications that myself in particular I would never use or am not interested in for that matter. But we do have the Hide It Pro application. Um, we do have S Memo, which is great that they've included that because I love S Memo. Uh, we do have the, uh, I think that's the MIUI file explorer. I could be wrong though. Uh, I apologize if I am. And what else have we got? We've also got the Z Archiver as well as the Rollatube. I think it's Rollatube or is it Rollitube or Roll Tube? I don't know. But anyways, that's the one that lets you download videos. Um, I do have the Sea Kernel installed. Um, this is an aroma-based installed ROM, so you do have a ton of options to choose. This is the options I chose, and they also have 11 customizable themes. Um, I am just rocking the standard theme, so yeah. Uh, but anyways, that's why you see the S tweaks application there. Obviously, if you've ever used C a kernel and you know what that does. Um, okay, let's jump into that. We'll jump down to just so you guys can get an idea here. Um, I am running the, as you can see, Omega version 3.0, uh, Android version 4.1.2 with the SEA kernel. Now I do have it clocked down or underclocked to uh, one gigahertz. And the reason behind that is because even at one point, or I'm sorry, at one gigahertz, I find it to be running extremely smooth and quick, as you can see here. Okay, just very, very, very fast. Um, very few frame rates being dropped, um, as well as the one gigahertz just gives you that extra bit of um, battery life. 1.4 gigahertz is flying fast, and um, I notice very little difference between 1 gigahertz and 1.4 gigahertz, but that's probably attributed to the great work uh, by Sia Kernel. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the settings here. Scroll all the way to the top. Uh, you've got all your basic stuff here. Go into ROM control because it is AOKP based. As you can see, we've got general UI. Um, you can do things. Oh, one thing I did want to mention that I had a viewer ask me how to do this. Uh, they were wondering how the um, custom carrier label, because in previous videos I had it say the smoking Android, and he was wondering how I changed the carrier label. Uh, in AOKP ROM, you do have this option under general user interface. Go ahead and tap on carrier label, type in whatever you want, uh, click OK, and that will end up showing up down there at the bottom. So that's how you do that. Uh, we've also got the kill all button and the hold back to kill button. I love that. Um, and as well as, just jump back into there again, we also have the Force um, tablet UI and you can change the LCD density as well and use alt default app grid if you wanted to. Um, going into lock screen here, of course, you've got your quick pin unlock, menu unlock, and a bunch of other uh, cool application, or cool uh, tweaks, things like that. The volume wake is something that I've always enjoyed. Um, and uh, also this does have the music widget enabled, the music control widget enabled on the uh, lock screen when you do happen to be playing music. Uh, moving down from there, we also have toggles. So of course you can change between the AOKP style toggle or the uh, CM10 style toggle, it's up to you. Um, but I also do have the volume slider, you can change it from the bottom here or the top, depending on what your preference is. Uh, jumping back out of there and into battery, like I mentioned, Whoops, you are able to um, set up all this stuff, set up the battery uh, notifications, battery bar location, top or bottom, the thickness and the color, awesome stuff there, as well as the charging animations. Uh, the charging animation looks great, but as you can see before, it said, you know, if you want to enable it, uh, there's a really good chance that it could hinder some performance. Uh, moving on from there, of course, we can mess around with our LED and the, the light on and off durations, as well as sound. Um, tons of options here in sound for you guys to mess with. Uh, weather, vibrations, performance. As you can see here, I do have the one gigahertz or one mega, one thousand megahertz, if you will, whatever, um, set up there with the on-demand governor. So far, I've gotten some really great battery life. Um, I'm easily able to get through a day again with the one. Uh, one gigahertz setting. Um, even at 1.4 gigahertz with the first couple of days that I was running it, it still lasted just as long, maybe like an hour or two less. Uh, you know, it all depends on what you want. Of course, you can do voltage settings and a couple of other settings as well. While we're talking about um, customization and stuff, obviously considering it's a ROM, I do want to show you the st static ROM analysis uh, score, which is 549. So that's cool. 
Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the wallpapers. Uh, we do have signage and mod wallpapers as well as some swag papers. Uh, I do want to point out that swag papers, at least for me, it isn't working right now. It'll stay. Oh my goodness. This is the first time in a week that this has worked for me. No joke. You guys are seeing it for the first time. Um, so you've got all of these uh, AOKP swag papers. Click next. Um, it was actually giving me some force closes uh, before for like like I said, the past week. So that was really irritating. It just stayed uh, at that little screen saying retrieving wallpapers. But as you can see, we've got a ton of great um, AOKP wallpapers. A lot of them have been designed by The Flash and others. Uh, so that's really nice. And of course, we do have our um, cyanogen mod wallpapers, which are always, always fun. So that's basically it, guys. Um, you know, it's not too terribly different than just stock AOKP. Of course, um, the gentleman, the developer has added some um, of his own tweaks. There's a lot of behind the scenes type of stuff. Uh, the ROM has been really great for me so far. I was having some issues whenever, um, I think when I did update to the 3.0 version, I ended up having to start reselecting all the defaults for different applications like YouTube or, you know, whatever it may be, uh, which I found to be a little bit cumbersome. But nevertheless, it's it's still a work in progress. The ROM has been fantastic so far. Omega ROM is actually one of the more popular ROMs for the Samsung Galaxy 3 at the moment. Uh, so definitely check it out. Like I said, it's an Aroma installer. It's got about 11 different themes in there. Um, it's been fantastic so far. Um, but anyways, that's it for now, guys. Thanks again for watching. And uh, if you liked that video, or if you like this video, if you like that video, if you liked all the other videos, give a like for those as well. But if you like this video, shoot me some love by hitting that likes button down below uh, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. We have videos five days a week, even though I know this one's a little bit late. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.